In this tutorial you will learn how to implement your character in Unreal Engine 5 and apply the animations. We will go over how to set up your animation blueprint and add a blend space. You will also learn how to add extra animation montages outside of the animation state machine. For this tutorial I will use free Mixmo characters but feel free to use your own. In that case I have timestamps down below so you can skip to the part of the tutorial that you want to watch. If this is your first time however, I would recommend to fully watch this video and follow along. Let's get started. First of all we need a character and animations for this tutorial. For the sake of this tutorial I am using Mixamo.com, a free website and already created an account for myself. Now you can also use Blender or Maya to create one of your own, but let's go here to browse characters. You can just follow along and let's choose one that we like, just any character that we can use. So I saw this one, Doozy, I like this one, I'm going to use this character. And then you can look him up and see if you like this one. Then go to animations and we need five type of animations. Idle, walk, run, jump in air and then something you fancy or more if you like. So the first one. I'm going to choose is idle. Let's look for a good idle animation. So let's say I like this breathing one. Okay. Then you can also just tweak these values right here and see what happens. So you will move faster, slower, or even the arms you can choose. And then you hit download. The first one we are going to choose with skin as an FBX. And this one I leave as is. Hit the download icon. And because this is the first animation that I included with skin, I'm going to go here and rename this one to Doozy, for example, or Doozy Idle, because this is the skin and the idle animation inside of it. Then let's look here for the walk animation. Let's see which one is pretty cool. I like this one, for example. But this time you see him walking in front. I don't want this to happen, because then in the game he will always be walking in front of the game engine itself. So choose in place and the game engine will move him forward while using this animation. Hit download, but this time without skin, because we already have the skin and we don't need it multiple times. And then hit download. Next, look for the run. And I like this slow run right here, but you can also use other ones. Keep this one in place. You can tweak the values as you like or not without skin and download. For the jumping animation, I like this falling idle one. So this one keeps looping. So when he's in air, we can also use this looping one. So hit download without skin and hit download. And then for the final one, let's get something groovy. So I delete this one and I hit dance because I want to show you, except for uh, our main animations, I want to show you how you can blend in between other ones as well. So let's get this one. This seems very funky. Yeah, great. So download and then without skin, hit download once more. Now inside of Unreal Engine, go to your content browser, characters, right click, Let's create a new folder. Our character was named Doozy, or you can name this anything you want. Drag him in here. And then let's get the first file with the skin that we had. Drag this in here. And then look up here. And make sure the skeletal mesh here is included in this one. And then hit import. Now you see these errors, the smoothing group error is not that important. So clear or just click off. And let's do some organization. So the first folder I'm going to create is the one named materials. And then I'm going to click here to the filter. And then I want to filter on the textures and I want to also show materials. So click shift select to select them all. Then right click and then disable all filters. So I have this one selected, move them inside of materials, move here. So these ones are separated in here so I can work nicely. Then I create a new folder, right click, new folder and name this one animations. So right here you can see this is the skeletal mesh that we just renamed Doozy. Then this one is our idle animation. So let's drag this animation and move it right here. And then sometimes an error can happen. So like this, you don't need this weird thing. Just uh, click this one and hit delete. And I'm going to force delete this one. And this is the physics assets to see wherever you collide. And then the skeleton is made up of the bones, but Mixamo did this for us. So we have some organization right now going on and then we can continue here. So this was our first and this has the most work. So we need our other animations, those four, and then drag this in. And then we need to see that our skeleton is here, the doozy skeleton, and then hit import. And we do this for all our animations. Okay. And let's check if these work. Falling is good, slow running is good, the walking is good, and then our fancy animation. So grab those four and also place this inside of animations and then move here. We no longer need these filters, so right click, remove all filters so we can see everything once more. So in our map, characters, 
Doozy. And then the materials here are separated and the animations here are also separated. So now we can get to work. Right click, animation, and then create animation blueprints. Also choose the skeleton, Doozy skeleton in this example, and hit create. Animation BP for ABP. And then let's name this one Doozy and open this one up. First thing you're going to see is an output pose. And what we're going to create, drag off here, is named for a state machine. Add a new state machine. Because the state of our player, for example when he's running or jumping, will decide whatever is output on side of my screen. But first we need some logic on the screen for the variables. So instead of anim graph, click here on the event graph. So we got some things here going on. First we need to check if our player is actually inside of the game. So drag off your first pin and then look for is valid with the question mark. This is the one we need. And then we're going to have here try get pawn owner is already in here and plug this in right here. Now we need to see if is our player in air and what is his speed. So let's do the air one first. So get the movement component and then drag off this pin and look for the function is falling. And if he's falling, then I know that he's in the air. So right click on this pin, promote to variable, and let's name this one is in air question mark. So this is our boolean here right set up and connect this to is valid. Okay. Then also from the same try get pawn owner, get all this, get velocity. So this is for our speed. And from our speed, we need to vector length because that is the number of our speed. Right click here on the return value, promote a variable, and name this one speed. So set speed and then connect this up like this, compile, and it's all set up. This will give errors right now, but nothing is yet finished, so this is okay. Go back here to your anim graph and open up your state machine. From our entry point, I want him to be idling, and then later on, I want him to be walking, running, and jumping. Drag off this pin, and then add state, and the first one will be idle, walk, and run. Because I want to blend in between these animations, and then from here, Add state, that will be the jumping one. And from jumping, he can go back to idle walking or running. So also drag from here to here. So when the game begins, he's in this mode first, and then can he switch between those two. And this one declares whether he is jumping or he is doing this. Okay, what we're now going to do in the content browser, go back to our map, doozy, animations, right click, animation and then blend space 1D because this will blend in between the animations I want to get right here. So once more, choose the skeleton that we need and then BS for blend space, nothing else and then uh, name it one doozy. Open this one up and then this is the graph where I can drag my animations on and he will blend in between. So I'll use this horizontal axis. So look here, horizontal axis, yours might be close. So open this one up and this will be the speed which determines uh, the animation. Zero is fine and the maximum, let's put it as 600 because the character speed in Unreal Engine at default is 600. You can also change this, but this is uh, what I will using. So the first one here, by the way, you need the asset browser. So if you have some other tab here, just make sure you have the asset browser right here and all the animations that belongs to this doozy character will be uh, right here. And then I can see here right now, this is the idling one, okay. Let's drag this one here in front. Let's say you misclick, no problem. Select this one and then set speed to zero. So it will be here. Then uh, get your walking one. And I like to put this around 150, but you can see which one you like best. And then the running animation, I like to put this one at the end, at 600. So now you can hold control and preview the point here. So if he is at zero speed, he will be idling. Then you can see him blending to the walking one. This is why this is called the blend space. And then it is blending in between his running state when he's at speed of 600. And you can see the animations blend in nicely. So this is why I created the blend space 1D. Save this if you are happy. Then back here into our animation graph, new state machine. I can double click on this one. And now I can see my blend space right here. Drag this one in, connect this one up. And the speed will determine the action. And luckily, we need a variable right here. 
which we created in our event graph earlier, get the walk speed and plug this one in. Compile and be happy. Now don't worry, this error will go away once we are fully finished. Click this arrow key back. For jumping animation it is much more easy, just get your falling idol was a name here. So your jumping animation, hit compile. Now go back because we need to declare the transitions. So from idle walking or running to jumping, double click here. Let's see if he's in air. And if he's in air, so get in air, he needs to play this result. And from jumping back to idle walking or running, he needs to be not in air. So get in air and then drag off and type not. We need a not boolean. So when he is not in air, hit compile. Then he needs to go back to here. Okay. So this is our state machine right now finished up. What we now need to do is go up to Content Draw, Content, Third Person, Blueprints, and right now in the viewport this character is still playing, so we need to change this. Make sure you select the mesh, the skeletal mesh, from the tutorial that is given to us. And then instead of mesh skeletal mesh, this one, we will see our doozy skeletal mesh. Okay. You can also, by the way, scale this one up and fit inside of the capsule right here. And then it is using the animation blueprint, which is what we want. But the anim class, let's look for animation blueprint right here. Click this one. You can already see him idling. This is what we want to have happened. When I now hit compile play, you can see this one inside of the game already. And he is blending in between running and jumping. And also when I'm running faster, jumping. And he is happy like that. Now I also want to show you if you want to add other animations outside of, outside of this animation blueprint, this is also possible. So in the event graph of my third person character, let's get some room right here. Let's use the F of my keyboard. And let's go here. Play montage. And you need not this, but you need this one. The skeleton which it is played for. Here the mesh skeleton mesh. So control drag to get this one, plug this one in. And right now we want to play an animation, but this is empty. Why is that? Well, go back to your, your characters, doozy, animation. And I think the one that we want is, was this breakdance. Now this is an animation sequence. So this one is a montage. Right click, create, and then second one here, create and a montage. Hit enter, and right now, here he is. I can select this one. So now I hit compile play, <laughs> still not working, but this is an easy fix. When I hit F key, it's still not working because we need to go back to our animation blueprint. This one is an easy fix. So from here, we want to add a slot default slot. And this default slot will switch in between the state machine that we created and the animations that I'm playing here in the montages. So now when I hit play, He's still walking around, jumping works fine, and then I hit the F key, and there he goes. Look at him go. And after he is done breakdancing, I can still go and walk around freely. If you want to build further upon what I just showed you, you can also extend your animation blueprint. So if you type this in into YouTube or you just look onto my channel, there is this video that I have shown here. And inside of that video, we will built upon the idle run and a jump loop. Because this is where we put falling, but you can also have a jump start and jump end if you want more transitions in between or just built on top of it. This is shown here. I also uh, have here links below that will show you how to create your own character or uh, go deeper into the Mixamo part. So this is also right here, but once more, this should be fine for most beginner games or it's just great to get going in general. Hope you liked this tutorial. Subscribe for more videos like this coming up inside of the future. Bye!